guys this is Smurfy and Magenta from the SMS crew and today I will be showcasing my new plugin easy tutorial this plugin allows server owners to make informational tutorials for their users right here I have a little test tutorial to show you guys what this does basically it will create a sign and you can uh, right click on it and it will bring you on your tutorial so as you can see it gives you some information it will tell you how many locations and in the config you can disable walking or not so it will tell you if you can walk or not but then it runs you through you change the name in the config of the locations as well as the message you receive or you can turn off messages at all and then also you can turn off end message you see where that says thank you for learning more with easy tutorials you can turn that off you can change it and then you also can turn off and on rewards you see we just got 69 diamond blocks you can change how many and the block type so that's basically what the plugin does now I'm gonna run you through how to actually create your own tutorial it's very simple if you we type in tutorial help you can see all the commands. There's only a few. So right now, let's just use tutorial list. You can see we just have one tutorial. So we're going to go ahead and make a tutorial spawn. So we do tutorial new spawn. It's going to give you a sign, and it says you're almost ready. Just place the sign. So click the sign wherever you want it. It's going to be just like this one, that it will start the tutorial. So you just click it, and then leave it blank. Hit done. So now you can see it fills in the information start and that's spawn, that's our tutorial. So now if you click this, it's just an empty tutorial, so we have to add some locations. So let's go ahead and we have these four groups, let's go ahead and create these. So TPs, let's make this one. So we can do slash tutorial, set location, and then the next parameter is the tutorial that you're adding it to, so it would be spawn, and then the number, you just want to hit one. Okay, it will tell you that it successfully was saved. Let's go to shop. And I'm just going to copy it and change it to two. So, as you can see, you know, they're saved numerate with numbers, but you can save them in the config by whatever name you want so that when you're running through them, it will tell you the name of them. And then finally, let's just add the spawn one real quick for fun. Alright, so now you have your locations, you don't have to hit done or anything. Now, you should be able to just run through them real quick. So as you can see, everything's default. It just says one, and then default message. So now I'm going to show you guys the config. <coughs> Excuse me. And how to edit that. So, and then also if you notice, when you're finished with the tutorial, it brings you right back to where you were. But anyway, so now I'm going to show you guys how to edit the config. So, obviously, you guys know when you install the plugin, it's just going to show up as a folder. You open it, open the config. Okay, so here's the config. It may look a little confusing, but it's pretty straightforward and very simple. So, basically, at the top it will say tutorials, and then it will list your tutorials. So, we have test and we have spawn. So we just created spawn, so let's go ahead and edit this. The first uh, four options are regarding the whole tutorial. So you have reward. You can turn a reward off or on. So let's just put true for now. You can change the item name. Make sure with the item name that it's in all caps, and if it has spaces, that you have to um, use an underscore as a space. So if we wanted to give them a diamond sword we would do diamond underscore sword so anything everything has to be caps and you have to have an underscore with spaces then we can give them amount so you can give them one two a hundred three so let's just give them one for now delay in seconds this is how many seconds you want them to sit at each spot so let's just change it to seven for now moved or tutorial on both of those examples we had that off and it defaults is off but let's turn it on just so you can see how it works I mean it's pretty straightforward but we'll see and then end message this is after the tutorials finished do you want it to say like thank you for 
um, using this tutorial to learn more or whatever. So by default it's off, but you turn that on, so let's turn that on, and you can customize the message to whatever you want. But this is a default message that will load up. Now you can see each one of your locations. So we have one, two, three, and four. Inside of that, you see we have a message um, configurable area. So under message, you can have it true or false. If you don't want a message at all, just to show them what it looks like, you can do that. But it defaults on true, and then we just have a default message for that. So let's change the message to one. The first one was TP, so we'll put here you can teleport around the world okay and location name it defaults as one but we want to change that to TPs just so it looks nice you know inside the brackets then we have the second one uh, let's check I forget which of the second one was okay it was shop so let's go ahead and change that to shop and then we'll make We'll change this message here. You can buy and sell items. Okay. And then three was um, arenas. So let's put here. You can play mini games. All right. And we'll change the name to mini games. And then last but not least, we have to spawn, and we will put where you spawn in. Alright, so you can just X out of the config, then you want to go to your um, terminal window and just hit reload, so that will save all your config. So now, let's go ahead and run through it. Right click, you can see, oh, I messed up a little bit on the uh, name, but we can fix that. Here we have teleport shop. So you see that? Oh, and I forgot. Now we have movement. So you can move around as soon as you're teleported here. And then you can see what it is. But then it obviously will teleport you to the next place. But so you can move around, look. So this is if you wanted to put the delay more so they could walk around and explore a little more. So then finally we're here. And then as soon as the tutorial ends, it'll bring us back to our original spot. And look, it says, thank you for learning more with easy tutorials. You're awarded one diamond sword. Alrighty guys, that's about it. Check the description for the link to my Minecraft dev page. I hope you enjoyed, I hope this helped. If you have any questions, leave a ticket on the plugin page or comment on the video. Thanks a lot and see you guys later.